I'm Charlotte McCormick with Evex. Today we're going to talk about supporting make-to-stock manufacturing using fixed quantity combines in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Lean manufacturing in AX 2012 has a wide variety of functionality. Today we're going to discuss production combine and withdrawal combine using uh, fixed quantity combines. We're going to process these with the Kanban board, both for process jobs and transfer jobs. We will take a look at the Kanban inventory overview on the boards, and we'll also be manufacturing without a production order using a production Kanban. At the crux of Lean and AX is a Kanban framework. In AX 2012, we have two different types of Kanban. We have production Kanbans and withdrawal Kanbans. Now, within these, there are different replenishment strategies. So if you look at the diagram, the, the replenishment strategies range from make to stock to make to order. Today we're going to focus on fixed quantity combines that sit within the make to stock element. And this, as an example, could be your typical tube end system, where there's a fixed quantity that's circulating back and forth. As you, as you go forward into the make to order scenarios, uh, the two major Kanban replenishment strategies are scheduled Kanbans and event Kanbans. Look back on our website for more information about these two replenishment strategies. Just another note, um, as we go through this, and I'll point this out throughout the demonstrations, all of these transactions using the different replenishment strategies and Kanban types are full barcode integrated. So you can use the Kanban boards, um, even with a wedge scanner, to scan tickets to perform transactions. In our demonstration today, we're going to be building LE Assembly Kanban using a production Kanban. LE assembly uh, Kanban is composed of LE component 1 and LE component 2, which will both be pulled to the line side using a withdraw Kanban. So if you look at our little diagram below, basically what we're doing is we're loading the assembly work cell using a production Kanban. Um, this is going to be a three bin system. So as shipping and the customer pulls out of, the, um, of, our, of our buffer stock and finished goods, we're going to load the work cell assembly to produce and replenish that signal. And uh, we're going to be pulling the components, component 1 and component 2, from the stock room to the align side right by the assembly work cell using a withdraw Kanban. In AX, the first thing we're going to do is go to the Kanban board for process jobs. So what you'll notice in AX 2012 is lean is within, standard lean is sitting within the production control module. And there are several uh, lean manufacturing menu items throughout. So the common forms under lean manufacturing, we're going to start with a Kanban board for process jobs. As we open the board, the first thing we're going to go do is take a look at the Kanban quantity overview. So I'm just going to scroll down and get that situated. What you see in the Kanban quantity overview for finished goods is our LE assembly Kanban. And this is a three bin system, so I can see quickly that two of the bins are full, as designated by the check marks, and one is empty, as, um, as it's blank. So let's just take a look. And what we'll see if we go up to the top portion of the board is that empty Kanban is actually loaded onto the assembly work cell to be made. So what you're looking at is really the job list that the assembly work cell has to focus on. These are all the empty tickets that are loaded to be made. And if you look at LE assembly Kanban, the blue one on the very top, we've got a job quantity of 10. Um, we know exactly where it's going and what status it's in. So this is what the, the work cell would be actioning against. And, and the idea would be to start at the top and work down. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and print the Kanban ticket for this empty Kanban. So I'll go and hit select print Kanban. And here's our Kanban ticket that would typically be printed out. And, and the import, one of the important pieces of this is the barcode up at the top. So if you think of a circulating card or a bin that's constantly going back and forth, you could literally just put this um, barcode onto the bin and start transacting empty full, empty full using uh, a wedge scanner and the Kanban boards. Coming back to our board, I just want to take a look at the picking list. So if we open this picking list tab, what we're going to see are the materials that are required and the status of the material that's required to make our LA assembly Kanban. 
And what we see on the picking list is that we have both LE comp 1 and LE component 2. We need a quantity of 10 for both. And the supply status field shows that we're, we've got that material at the line side ready to go to make LE assembly Kanban. And this makes sense because if you take a look over at the Kanban quantity overview for material, you can see LE component 1 and LE component 2 are both, um, are, are both a three bin system and all the bins are full. So our material has been already moved from the stock room to the line side. All three bins are full. We've got the material we need to produce our LE assembly Kanban. On the Kanban board, you can also see production instructions that are tied to that item. And here we have just a simple example production instruction. But really, you could think of any visual type work instructions that are important or drawings that might be helpful for production. Because um, this is, again, the board that's sitting at the work cell for the workers that are trying to give you as much information as you can about actually producing against this Kanban. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually produce this Kanban. The first thing I'm going to do is select it, and if I go up to the top and hit Manufacturing, and then select the Start button, what that's going to do is go ahead and start this Kanban. So this is an optional stage, and it could be tied to things like um, flushing of material. It's also going to change our job status to In Progress. It would indicate that manufacturing has started this Kanban. Keep in mind that we can use the barcoded Kanban ticket and a scan gun to transact against this as well. So now that production has finished producing this Kanban, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Complete button. And what this is doing in the background is, again, we could be consuming materials at this point, but ultimately it's updating the status of the Kanban to completed, and it's filling that bin. And if we look at the Kanban quantity overview for finished goods, you'll see that it filled that bin. Um, all three of the bins of our three bin system are completed, and the world is happy. All right, so now let's look at our Kanban quantity overview for the materials. So we used LE Component 1 and LE Component 2 to um, make our LE Assembly Kanban. And what we've done and what we're about to simulate is we have emptied the bin. Both components now have an empty bin sitting at the line side. So let's empty those bins. And to do that, we're going to go back to the common forms and we're going to open the Kanban board for transfer jobs. And if we look at the overview again, we get the same view where you see the three bins for both the components and they're still full at this moment. So I'm going to go ahead and print the Kanban tickets for these and simulate transacting this empty transaction using a barcode. Here's our Kanban ticket for LE Component 1. So what we're going to focus on is the barcode at the top, which is actually the card number. And again, this could be affixed to the bin. So we're going to transact against this barcode. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, empty as my registration mode. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm selecting my scanning mode as empty and when I register this by, by scanning the barcode it's going to know to empty the Kanban in this instance. And now I'll go ahead and scan the barcode. So that emptied the Kanban and you'll see to the left that um, the Kanban for LE Component 1 has now appeared on the Kanban board for transfer jobs to be processed. And if we take a look at the quantity overview you'll also see that we now have two full bins and one empty bin for LE Component 1. So let's go ahead and transact against LE Component 2. And instead of printing the ticket and scanning, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the empty button, which is going to do the exact same transaction, which will be to empty the Kanban and have it show up as a pending Kanban on the Kanban board for transfer jobs to be processed. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the screen. And now you see the LE Component 2 Kanban showing up in the Kanban board for transfer jobs. Selecting both of the pending Kanbans, I can see in the picking list below that I've got enough material for both sitting in the stockroom to go ahead and use this Kanban to move the materials from the stockroom 
to the line side for assembly. So let's start these Kanban tickets together. And this is an optional status again. You don't actually have to start the Kanban tickets, but you can if you want to change the status of them and provide visibility into that status. So I'm just going to hit the Start button. So let's go ahead and complete this Kanban. And in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight LE Component 2 and hit the Complete button to transfer the material from the stockroom to the assembly line side and fill the Kanban. And we'll do the exact same for LE Component 1, the Kanban there. And we'll select it and go ahead and hit Complete. And just notice in the quantity overview that we now have three full bins of both LE Component 1 and LE Component 2. So what we've done here is we have filled both of those empty Kanbans and we've now put them back at the line side so we're good to go. So what we just went through again was we built LE Assembly Kanban which was an empty ticket on our assembly work cell. That empty ticket belonged to a three bin system so we were just filling the third bin to satisfy our Kanban requirements on the Kanban board for process jobs. In building that we consumed LE Component 1 and LE Component 2 and if you were looking at the bins on the line side you would see that those two were now empty. So we transacted those withdraw Kanbans as empty which then triggered the material handler to bring material from the stock room back to the line side to fill those Kanban tickets. This concludes our demonstration of supporting make to stock manufacturing using fixed quantity Kanbans in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Be sure to check back on our website for other demonstrations that cover other functionality of the Lean module.